Hi, I'm Craig Bell. And I'm John Perkins. Hey, John. My friend of mine who's a missionary was at a meal one day across the table from another Christian brother. And as he looked across, they were eating. He noticed he had a hair hanging out of his mouth. And he was like thinking in his mind, this battle, should I say something? Should I say something? And he said, as I was trying to decide, he said that hair got shorter and shorter (laughs) (laughs) until it was gone. And he said, it's too late. He said, I never did speak out. (laughs) The Bible says there's a time to speak and a time to be quiet, right, John? (laughs) Yeah. That was a time to speak for sure. So, John, there's definitely a time for us to speak and a time to be silent, like we just mentioned. But what point is a good point for Christians to speak up? Because sometimes the question is, should we be able to speak our opinions on current issues? I mean, like the Kyle trial, the um, vaccine mandate, paying taxes, you know, are they too high, they're too low. You know, can we have opinions on these things as Christians? I think we can. I think not only we can, I think we should and we have to as a church. We have to not only be involved in our communities and in our laws and in our schools and in our everything, but I think we should be leading the conversation. I think we as God's people should be leading these talks. I agree. I think that our set of standards that the Bible gives us is true standards we should base society on. So if anybody should know those kind of standards that really should plug into society, it should be us, right? Exactly. And I don't know about you, but anytime I post anything on Facebook, not on the church page, but even on my own personal page, whether it's be about uh, what we thought of the election or what we thought of people were like, well, you're a, you're a preacher you don't need a you don't need a comment on things like that but we do and the other point of that john is that truly we should also be considerate of people who disagree with us while i don't i know everybody who has an opinion different than mine is wrong but <laughs> you know i should be graceful enough to, to allow them to be wrong right <laughs> yeah 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 well we're really exactly i mean our opinions is our opinions and you can debate our opinion you can disagree with my opinion but you're not going to change my opinion our society today is about divide 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 and i feel like that everybody who disagrees with an opinion that you would post say on your facebook page all of a sudden is now enemies with you and now we can't even be friends because we don't agree on this. And all of a sudden we're divided. And our country's divided over everything from race all the way to politics to everything these days. And it's really sad. Exactly. And again, I think the people's looking at the church and saying, you just stay over there and go to your church and talk to your people and leave the rest of us alone. And really, we as God's people, we ought to be standing and saying, this is right, this is wrong. I think that we ought to be leading these conversations. We ought to be being able to speak out for God. And when something's wrong... Um, um, we can voice our opinion. And the main thing I'm concerned about, Brother Craig, our rights as Americans, not just as Christians, but as Americans, is being trying to take away from us. So, Brother Craig, I, I'm worried in this country that we got people that's trying to tell us what we need to think, what we should do, how to live our life, where to spend our money. As Christian people, we're free thinkers. We, we, we can think for ourselves. We don't need the government telling us every step how, what to teach our children in school. You're like me, Brother Craig. We homeschool our children, and, you know, we teach our children what we want them to learn, not what the government wants us to teach them. Mm, Yeah. You know, I think as this conversation goes, John, that we're thinking, I think of Paul in Acts chapter 17, when he showed up at Athens, he was seeing the monument for all these gods, the monuments, and then he's seeing the monument for the unknown God. They listed all the gods they could think of. And for the ones that they didn't know, just so they wouldn't offend any, they put this one up for the unknown God. And Paul used that moment to introduce them to, to God the true God, over that current issue of the statue that they were dealing with. So he walked into their society, took their current issues, and led them to God with it. What if we were able to lead people to God by speaking out of the current issues and pointing to God? Because our our worldview should be a biblical worldview. And uh, if it truly is, well, that will help us to point people to God. Yeah, we should be able to talk about anything that they want to talk about. If they want to talk about the LBG community, if they want to talk about Black Lives Matters, if they want to talk about whatever they want to talk about, we should be able as Christians to talk with them and tell them our views and our our ideals and how we're getting the ideals that we have as Christians. True. And if we're doing it correctly, at the end of the day, we'll be pointing them to God. As the scripture tells us, that we're to be always ready to give an answer for the hope that lies within us. Yes. And again, and again, not making people mad, not trying to offend people. But if we do offend them with the gospel, then <laughs> that's what it is. Ephesians chapter 6 and 19 and 20, the Apostle Paul says that I might open my mouth to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So Christians, don't be afraid to speak out. Music 